once a painted fin starts to get splits in it and it starts to dry out because it's not being moisturized like this, this material is doing, then it's going to get cracks. Once the paint cracks and it gets moisture and it traps the moisture and it accelerates rot. <laughs> Looking at the at the details of our skinning of the fascia. How nice that looks to be never have to do any maintenance on your fascia again. This is that siding job. All the and, and the new fence that we did. Look at that beautiful fence. That's got that ready seal. You can smell it. Mm, that smells good. The ready seal fence with the double board system on it and the curb, the steel poles, concrete curbing, and this is the side where she gets to see it facing her. What a beautiful fence, huh? Look at that. That's a handsome fence. And we get to see this beautiful hardy plank siding job. Look at those, look at that tight joint right there. That's what we want to see with, sh with shims behind it for waterproofing and no caulking in it. No caulking needed. Beautiful, beautiful. Clean, clean, low maintenance. That's what we're looking for. I think that is just a beautiful look. I like the color she, she picked also. Me Looks too. really nice and the beautiful fence. Spin around and get a view of that fence, Justin. See the holes in the bottom of the concrete for the drainage? That way, if any water's trying to move its course, make its course, it's not going to impede it. I've never seen concrete at the bottom of the fence. Isn't that a nice way to go so the dogs can't dig out? And Oh, that's why? Well, that's one of the reasons, yeah. And then your, your fence lasts longer because it's not directly on the ground where all the moisture's. Mm -hmm. That is a double board fence. It is beautiful. Yeah, that, that trimming out that fascia, there was a lot of repairs that were needed on these on this home, like most homes that are this age. And by putting out that hardy fascia trim out, that we call it skinning it, it just you just fix it the minimal and then you cover it up and it's never gonna rot anymore and you, and you don't have to worry about putting investing in something that's only gonna deteriorate again later. So invest in putting on the skin, the hardy skin. It's a thin layer that goes over it and now you're done. It's a much better look. Much more stable too. Nice and solid. That's a durable look with. And now with the steel poles that are in the fence, it's never going to warp. Any type of wood can tend to warp or rot eventually. And so with the steel poles, it's a, it's a lifetime fence. Just a little bit more can get you something that you'll never have to worry about any maintenance on. Now the thing I like about the Ready Seal stain on here is, as you might see, and, and if you you were to touch it, you might feel just a little bit of like... Sticky? Oh, no, it's not sticky. It's just a little bit oily. You really can't feel it because it's dried in there. But if you caught it a little sooner, you'd get just a little oil on your hand until it is completely absorbed. But what's great about it, it's absorbing into the wood. So if you throw some water on it, it's going to beat off. Which would happen on a painted fence. But the difference is, is that this one is not trapping moisture inside. Once a painted fence starts to get splits in it and it starts to dry out because it's not being moisturized like this, this material is doing, then it's going to get cracks. Once the paint cracks and it gets moisture and it traps the moisture and it accelerates rot. But this product, putting a stain on it, is actually good for the wood. It actually moisturizes the wood. It keeps it from, from splitting. Not 100%, but tremendously reducing the amount of splits. And what's great is you put another coat on it, the splits aren't gonna hurt anything. It's not going to rot in those splits because it's not trapping the moisture in it. It'll eventually dry out some and get a few splits in it, but this is gonna make it last forever. Virtually, as long as the home will be here, this fence will be here. And that stain is a big part of preserving and we wanna teach our clients how to, how to take care of their product. Not painting, not just um, what's called a semi-solid, semi-transparent stain because those are really thin down paints that sit on the surface. This product penetrates deep into the wood and it moisturizes it. A much, much better product. 
And the beauty is obviously there as well. Does it look nice? Yeah. Virtually flawless. Even the little, the little caps, these are siliconed on and they're stuck in here. You know what that's for? That's so water doesn't get in these poles inside these, these um, galvanized tubes. You don't want water sitting in them. It eventually it would cause some rusting. So they're covered up nicely. A lot of attention to detail with the new metal roof, all the flashings, everything that ties into the beautiful look of the low maintenance fiber cement. Now in this particular one, we didn't need to replace the soffit. The soffit's in good shape and it's not gonna get any moisture. It's just gonna, it's not gonna get direct with a beautiful roof on it with low maintenance fiber skinning, fiber cement skinning. That didn't need to be replaced, that saved a bundle. It looks great. The ceilings look great, they're rough textured. They're a good looking soffit anyway, so we didn't need to change that. This is a good looking home. I love the colors they chose. We can do this for you, or anything similar, or pieces of it, or all of it, even including the soffit if you want it. Another great looking project, very proud of it.